What is up everybody welcome back to the casual corner and today i'm gonna be doing another compilation of my favorite fight scenes i said i'm gonna make this into an ongoing thing there's a lot of fight scenes i love to watch um over the years that tend to be um what inspires me to like i said in my last video play certain video game characters and stuff like i said this on um, my channel is dedicated to like video games mainly fighting games and martial arts and i love those two things you know they go hand in hand with me so i got some more fight scenes i want to go over but this time instead of doing like movie fight scenes i said i would do a focus on indie fight scenes you know indie being short for independent um the last video i did um one of donnie Yen's fight scenes i think that last one i did with um kill zone it kind of copyrighted it or something like that on the stream. It like kind of muted it, so I had to watch out for that. So I said I'm gonna do an indie uh, indie fight scenes this time around. Um, but the focus though is gonna be on a certain martial arts stunt crew. Um, one of two that I like. I've been following for quite some time, and the reason for that is because I just watched a, a show on Netflix. I think it was, no the week before last, uh, called The Brother's Son. And both the martial arts stunt crew teams alike, they were they've been they were in the show, and that is Martial Club and Team Red Pro. Now Martial Club, I've been following them a little bit longer than Team Red Pro, but um, the first time I seen them was around like I would say like ten years ago on another channel called Whirlwind Action. And they had a web series out at the time. It called it was called Slug Street Scrappers, and it was, if you was in the video games and like um, martial arts, like I said before, which is kind of like my channel, the direction I'm going in, um, you would you would like that too. It, it was pretty cool, um, corny at times, but like I said, if you're into that sort of thing, it, it's for you. You'll you'll get a kick out of it. I know I did. I watched the whole thing, and I think they had a revival series. Um, couple years back i need to check check up on that again i don't know if they ever came out with anything but i'm gonna have to check in later on that it should be like on uh, slug street scrappers revival right so um i'm gonna have to check up on that and but um back on topic yeah and i'm gonna show a fight scene from them guys too at, like a bonus one at the end but i said i would do martial club this time and the next time i would do team red pro and like i said martial club they've been in the game um, um martial arts stunt crew doing stunt work and stuff for a while now uh humble roots um they got their own youtube channel they've been doing they got a whole bunch of little short films they done made um their most recent work um um one of the brothers andy lee the older brother his big breakout role was playing de the the role of Death Dealer and Marvel's Shang-Chi. That was his big thing. He got um, put on for that. And him and his brother Brian, they both ended up being in a movie with Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh pulled them into a movie with them and Jim Wen. And it was that movie Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, that multiversal film. That movie long as shit, by the way, but it was pretty good. I watched that as well. But like I said, they've been doing a lot of work. And they finally got the recognition they they deserved, and they blew up since then. So you know, same thing goes with Team Red Pro. Um, maybe not as big um, as Marshall Club, but I'm gonna do them as well because one of their members, I think one one for sure, was in the Brother Son as well. I don't know if any other members was, but they're one of their notable members. You know, um, the face. Of their their crew um he he showed up in the show um but i said i'll do them next week but this week i'm gonna do martial club um some works that on team red pro did though also if you heard of that saint say on film that was on netflix they did the stunt work for that movie as well as they were cast i think one of their members was cast in the, re the lead role 
um, as well. So that that was pretty dope as well. But I want to keep it keep you guys too long. I'm go over the fight scenes. Let y'all see some of the films on um, the fights that I like. One of my favorite ones is it's pretty shot. It, it's shot like in one of the like the old the old kung fu flicks, like the old Jackie Chan movies and stuff. Not the real old ones, but like I would say, uh, Super Cop, um, the Police Story movies, like like, like that. Um, but let's I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna keep you guys listen to me for too long going crazy and stuff let me see what we got here and voila all right so here is the i'm gonna just do the fight um like i said they do short films you know they they try to make a whole little film for it with dialogue and everything but i'm just gonna do the fights right so here we go. And bow. <laughs> yeah, and that that's Brian. Brian Lee. And that's Andy. These dudes dope as shit, dude. <laughs> they do a lot of tricking too. If you know what I mean by tricks, like, um, if you're familiar with parkour, gymnastics, and stuff, then that tricking is, like, basically fancy flips, I guess, for people who are unaware. But if you are aware, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that. That shit's tight. Martial arts. Dude, nasty. Uh. See, and this is the reason, you know, um, growing up, uh, I used to watch all them Jackie Chan films, Jet Li and all that, films like that, Donnie, and of course, everyone know Donnie and now because of John Wick and It Man, but keep in mind, those guys are like, like 50s, plus age wise so seeing guys like this being able to do all this stuff it it's high hopes for the world of martial arts especially when it comes to cinema and stuff uh, we know that we're gonna be able to still get some good quality martial arts films out there um, and some of these uh, less known Martial artists will finally get the, the, the spotlight that they deserve. They put in a lot of work. Like, for instance, Scott Atkins and Michael J. White. They're, they're two to name a few. This, keep in mind, I also grew up watching Power Rangers, so even more so, I love this shit. <laughs> this is tight as hell. Got him. Look at that. What? Nice. Like, yeah, can't stand. Yeah, get up. Look, oh. oh. Dang. Oh, look at that martial arts. What's up? Ah, uh, look at poses. Yeah, we do nice things. Ah, uh, what? Back it up. Oh, got him. Uh oh. This is like a this is a uh, like a boss fight. So you guys kind of good teamwork. Nope. Get a wheelbarrow. Ah. Uh. Yeah, come here. Oops, super, super move. Bam. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at that exchange right there. What? Oh, you're doing too much. Get off me. Yeah, get them bows to the face. Yeah, do a dance. Get a taste. Martial arts. Oh, Jackie Chan. Uh, you like that? Yeah. 
Oh, do the pose, do it nice. Chinese pose, we do it right. What? Oh, oh, yes, I'm sleeping. Uh, yeah, dummy. Ugh. Yeah, that wouldn't really hurt me. That, don't, that didn't hurt you. Get up. Uh, you good, man? But yeah, that that's one of them. That this one's pretty dope. But yeah, I got another one. But yeah, if you wanna um, like I said, they got their own little channel here, right? This is it right here, Marshall Club. Like I said, Dev Diller. They they work on Marvel Shang Chi. There's other members too. Like you got um, Andy Lee, Brian Lee. Um, the big dude, Andy, the little dude. Um, then another one is Daniel Ma D Ma. He's 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 in some of these videos as well. But yeah, it's those those are the three like faces of Marshall Club. In fact, you see it in the logo up here at the top. They pretty much got themselves drawn up here. Brian, Andy, and Daniel, <laughs> Daniel son. <laughs> Alright, but I got this other one here. This is more recent. And we got Andy here. Yeah, I already got them lined up for you. This has a lot more. And think about their what what I like about these guys, of course, like you saw in that first fight scene, is I like flashy stuff. I like the big flashy moves. Of course this shit won't work in real life. But I like flashy stuff. Like I said, I like video on um, video games. They got cool, a bunch of cool flashy moves in video games, of course. So they do that stuff. All them old Hong Kong flicks do that stuff too. You know, we love that stuff. Martial arts enthusiasts and fans of the the old school Hong Kong movies and stuff. We this is what we this is what we look forward to. You know. Here we go. And that's D Ma Daniel Ma right there. There's Brian. Oh, another fun fact. Um, when they made this short film, they based it off on um, Jet Li's movie, his final fight against the the of the same name, the General Jet Li's character where he fought against General Fujita at the end of the Fist of Legend movie. You know that movie that's based off the um, Bruce Lee's movie of the, of the same name. So... Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, get some. What? Get these kicks. Walk it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, sit down. Uh-oh. Hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, Let's see what you got, buddy. Give me a good show. Oh, you, you gonna say something? Give him a speech? Oh, 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 ooh, scary. Hey, man, chill out with the Bruce Lee noises. Uh, okay. All right. It, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Super kick. Bam. Starting it off crazy. What's up? Nope. I got kicks for... E everybody can get the kicks. Kicks for everyone. Uh, you like that? Yeah. Bring it back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ooh. Look at that. Mm. They need to put that in the game. That, that shit was nasty. In fact, I want to do that again. Let's see that again. That, that was nasty as shit. Ugh. We going back. I got to I gotta see that again. He did a little combo there. Look at that. All these kicks. Can't stand. Ugh. Alright. Oh, there we go. Spin. Ooh. Nice. That was very confusing. 
Like, man, how do I, how do I defend? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, fall back. Oh, oh, you like that? I'm coming for you. Yep, you. Bam, weird kick. <laughs> oh, he liked that. Oh, hmm. It's a faint. Oh, let's dance. Psh, uh, kick in the throat. Spin off, thanks. And do some break dancing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he helped him out. You're on the wrong team. You're supposed to be fighting with us. Oh, yeah. What's up? He had his eyes closed. Oh. Oh. Are you doing some Boyka stuff? Man, he's scary. Ooh. All right, Donnie in. Oh. Damn. Backflip. Of course, now's the boss fight. That's a big ass dude. That dude, big as shit. <laughs> and, and keep in mind, the big one, Brian, he's the little brother. And Andy, the little one, he's the big brother. Look at that acting. I like it. The drama. <laughs> hey man, that's why he made it to to Marvel's Shang Chi, and also why Michelle Yeoh took them under her wing. They doing big things now. These dudes are nice though. Alright, boss fight. Oh shit. Ah, uh, yep. Look at that. Yeah. We we take we eat those. Nah. Look. You ain't hurt me not one time. Let's do this. Ooh, big man. That shit's tight. That dude big like that. Uh, what's up? I can do all that shit too. I like I got like 50, 40 pounds over you and I'm doing all this shit. What's up? Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Damn. Yeah. Damn. What? He's like, what the hell? Your big ass flying through the air. That's cheating. <laughs> You're like, we're not in the same weight class. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh. Is nothing working? He said, hands off. Don't touch me. I don't need hands. Bam! Damn, he doing combos. Yeah. You look desperate. Maybe you should put your shirt back on, buddy. <laughs> Get that ketchup off your face. Man, get up. Uh-oh. Way of the warrior. Man, get that sound off my face, man. Oh. It's like, what? Uh. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, let's dance. Yeah, we did that. Uh. Yeah, he cocked that in there. Fired. Kicked you in your throat. What's up, man? Yeah. Oh, we gonna play the copy game. Ooh. 
Oof. Oh, doing Tony Jaw stuff. Like it. Er, oh, oh, shoot. Get him. Yes, I'm a wrestler. Taking you too long, man. Uh, oh, that was tight. What? <laughs> oh. Hmm. And there we have it, folks. It ends in a draw. All right. But that fight was pretty good. They got a lot more. Um, if you want to see their other stuff, just like I said before, you can always go to their site, uh, where their channel, check out their stuff. Of course, I uh, didn't say this in the beginning, but all these clips, the rights reserved to their uh, pre respective owners and all that good shit. But uh, yeah, that was some good stuff right there. Uh, let's see here. But I got one more special one that I wanted to show. Like I said, um, when I first saw them, it was on the Slug Street Scrappers, right? And that channel that um, belongs to is Whirlwind Action, right? So this is one of my one of the many fights of the series. One of my favorite ones. Um, it reminds me of a character in Tekken. One of the people in the this clip here. Um, if you know who Bob is, then you'll, you'll, you'll get it when you see the fight, so. Peaches. I mean, dude ain't fat, but, you know. <laughs> Said, what's up? Uh. There we go. He said, time to get for real. How dare you hit me in the face? Nah. Ugh. Yeah. So you, I don't like hitting girls, but. Yeah, look at all my dance moves. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, combos. Bam. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, that was just a short one right there. But like I said, um, this one, their channel Whirlwind Action has been on going on for a while now. And uh, you can watch the whole Slug Street Scrappers web series on, from here. Like, they got a bunch of them here. And like I said, they had a revival series, I think. Um, but I don't... Yeah, this, here's Complete Season 1 right here. But I don't know if they ever went through with it or not. But... Uh, like I said before... Um, This one's going to be a short one. Um, also, if you haven't seen the um, the show Brother's Son, it's a good it's a good watch. Um, it's on Netflix. It's already been out for like two weeks. Uh, it's going to get another season based off the way it ended. It's pretty good. Like I said, it's Michelle Yo, She's in it too. If you're, you've been around the, the Kung Fu world or martial arts world um, with the movies and stuff for a while and you're an enthusiast, you know who that is and you... You know, Jackie Chan, Simo Hung, all those guys, Jet Li. She's one of she's one of the greats along with them, Donnie Yen as well. Um it's a good watch. Just check it out. Um But next week I'm going to cover Team Red Pro. Um they got some fights on there too, um, as well. And 
They're my second favorite. They don't have as many as Marshall Club, but they're still just because they don't have as many videos or whatever, or ain't been as high. They're not as high profile. They're still just as good. Um, you know, when it comes to martial arts and stuff like that, all that stuff is good to me. I don't care um, about the other stuff as long as it's entertaining and fun to watch. I love all that stuff. Um, but other than that. That will do it for this time, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.